Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a Naratu starter set from the Dream Legacy. This is starter set A1, uh, according to the back. And it includes 40 game cards, the, the, the Naratu deck, see he's pictured there. Um, it also includes 10 game cards as sideboard cards. Uh, the M018 One Morning, a bunch of specific cards. I'm not reading all those because it's a giant waste of time and I don't know what half of them are. I've never played this game, so I'm interested to see what's in here. Uh, we've looked at some other Naratu decks already, so um, let's see what's inside the Dream Legacy ones. These are, of course, by Bandai. Uh, these are in association with uh, Shonen Jump. These are from, I think, 2002. And, of course, the plastic's really good. Same to ages 8 and up. You need two decks to play. So you'll want to get another starter other than just this one. These open from the side. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oop, there's a coin. Well, that's pretty fancy. It's got a... Like a compass on one side or a shuriken maybe? Probably. And then on the other side is a little image of... Naratu. So that's kind of neat. Let's see what else we got in here. Alright, there's the sideboard cards and the regular deck. We'll look at each of those in turn. Then we've got a rule book with Naratu on the cover. And it's color, of course. Lots of imagery. It's it's about 40 pages long. Uh, the art's, you know, from the show, so it's to be expected, but the layout's good, it's easy to read, easy on the eyes, paper quality's pretty good, uh, pretty happy with the rule books for Naratu, Bandai does a pretty good job with that. Uh, then we have a mailer questionnaire card, and then we have the life token meter thing on one side, we've got, oh, it's the turn marker, whatever. Uh, we got this person, and on the back we have uh, different little guys. These punch out, these little people pictures here. They punch out so you can mark the turn. Then we've got our play mat. Just let me unfold that real quick here. Now if you remember the other ones we sh looked at, uh, it's pretty much the same. You got your battle area on one side with the phases down below, image of the character, then you got your uh, chakra area, your turns, um, deck area, discard pile, and then battlefield up above. This paper is slightly better than the previous ones we looked at, but not much. These paper mats are always garbage that you either um, are supposed to buy the the fancier foam ones or get them at tournaments or whatever. Um, these are more of a couple times and they're going to be destroyed. Uh, they're just kind of humoring you by giving you one. And it's one-sided, so at least there's that. Alright, let's look at our sideboard deck first. See what we got here. Um, as soon as I can figure out how to get the cards out of the plastic. The plastic's pretty good quality, actually. It's pretty thick, difficult to get off. So be aware of that. And it sticks to your hands a lot. All right, so this is the back of the card. First card is Unhealed Wound. Another unhealed wound. Then we've got changes in pairings. Another changes in pairings. Cheating. A second cheating. A Baki Morino. First Proctor. Another one of him. One morning. And lastly, one morning. So that's a sideboard deck. Let's move that out of the way and get to our main deck. 
All right, this one actually has a um, little strip in it, so it's supposed to be easier to open, but of course it's not because these things hate me. All right, I'm going to figure out how to open things one day since that's kind of the point of this. All right, there we go, got it. I'm really bad at my job, everyone. Yeah, this plastic is really thin on this one and really cheap and it sticks to the cards. So you gotta be a little aware of that. Uh, if these were stored in a humid environment, they're not gonna be in good shape. So our first card is Revival. Then we have Forbidden Technique. Another Forbidden Technique. After the battle, uh, target all of your injured ninjas. Effect heal the target. Another After the Battle. Failed Jutsu. Another Failed Jutsu. Chakra Control Device. Another one. Disguise Jutsu, another Disguise Jutsu, Paper Bomb, another Paper Bomb, then we have Shadow Clone Jutsu, another Shadow Clone Jutsu, Shikaku Nara, then we have Inochi Yama, Yamanaka, something like that, then we have another one of him. Then we have Sakura Haruna, Ooh, Haruno, uh, another Sakura, then Naiji Hayuga, another Naiji, then we have Naratu Uzumaki, Shikamaru Nara, another one of him, uh, Heieti Gekko, I'm going to butcher all these names like usual. Another one of him. Ebisu. Another one of him. Tamari. Mike Guy. Anbu. Anbu. Uh, Karina Yuhai. Uh, maybe that's Karienai. I don't know. A second one anyway. Asuma Sarabutobi. Sure. And a second Asuma. Then we have another Naratu Yuzumaki. Another one. And lastly, a Naratu Yuzumaki and G Araiua. Something like that. But it's gold foil and it looks really cool. But it's him and that dude that looks like Inuyasha. I know people are going to hate me saying that, but he does look like him. Because I don't really watch either one. So, that is uh, all the cards. Uh, we saw the sideboard deck, which was kind of neat. It was a little better wrapped, a little better protected than these. These had cheaper foil on it, or cellophane, and um, kind of stuck to the cards a little bit. It took me a second to get it off. But... Um, not a bad looking deck. The gold foils are really cool for the Naratu game. I really like these foils quite a bit. They look really cool. Um, they have a good texture to them and they're good quality. So the cards in general are good quality, which really surprised me, um, when I first opened these. Because I thought, well, it's Bandai, you know, they, they don't really do card games. But they did a good job. The only crappy thing is the playmats, and these are actually... Better than quite a few games that we've seen. So that is the starter set A1 um, for the Dream Legacy for the Naratu collectible card game. Uh, and that's going to do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.